But this golden age of Islam was not to last. After shrugging off the Crusades and bringing the precious gift of knowledge to Europe, the great cities of the Islamic Empire would be brought to ruin by a force more terrible than anything the Europeans could muster. Their libraries destroyed, the wealth plundered, the empty cities stood mute in the aftermath of a devastation that descended upon them not from the west, but from the east. It's known as the Mongol catastrophe. The Mongols were Turco-Mongolian nomads from the steppes of Central Asia. In the 13th century, they rampaged across much of Eurasia between the Ukraine and China. It wasn't long before they entered Islamic Persia. To the cultured, urban Muslims, these guys were a bunch of savages. When you entered the Mongol army, you came with yourself and three horses, and you lived off the horses. First you drank their blood, and then when you moved far enough away, you killed them, you slaughtered them, and you ate their meat. And that's why they could go so far and survive so long. Terror was the Mongols' principal tactic. One of the local Iranian leaders foolishly decides to kill off the emissary that the Mongols have sent. And in doing that, he evokes the anger of the Mongols, who want to use him as an example. And they use this retaliatory technique often of killing off entire towns, wiping them out as examples. And so they build these f fantastic towers of skulls where they pile up all the dead bodies as an example. And then, then all the other towns around immediately um, give way. City after city fell before them. It was only a matter of time before they reached the center of Islamic power. On February the 10th, 1258, the Mongols took Baghdad. According to the Arab chroniclers, the Mongols put Baghdad to the torch and killed 10,000 inhabitants. Mosques and libraries, the collected knowledge of centuries, were all set ablaze. Within less than 50 years, the Mongols seized the heart of the Islamic Empire from the Arabs. Islamic civilization seemed poised for destruction, lost to posterity. But then something remarkable happened. While the consensus of opinion is that the Mongols were a devastating force, I personally feel that they also had a very positive effect on Western Asia and the world of Islam. They opened the world tremendously. And historically, the most significant thing about the Mongols for us would be that they became Muslims, most of them, uh, in the end. Uh, converted to Islam and then became, after being these tremendously destructive forces, some of the greatest patrons of the arts and letters in all of Islamic history. The conversion and its lasting effect was extraordinary. Within a decade, the Mongols had gone from building towers of human heads to building mosques glorifying God.
It is not surprising to me that the land conquered the conquerors. The Mongols themselves became Muslims or uh, Islamic leaders par excellence. The Mongols transformed Islam. Now Islamic power could be held by anyone, not just the Arabs who had created it. The Mongols threw open the door for the great gunpowder empire to follow. The empire of the Ottoman Turks. Islam was now set on a new course of expansion to both the east and the west marching to the beat of Turkish drums. Yeah.